Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Tuesday, October 15, 2013. This is Texan TV News from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I am Jack Cochran. In today's headlines, environmental science class to host cleanup, Erath County Meals on Wheels unaffected by federal budget cuts, famed marine researcher dies, Colorado theater shooter goes to trial. Myanmar's prestigious hotel struck by homemade time bomb. Top entertainment news from the AP Showbiz Minute. The Dodgers take the Cardinals in Game 3. And in breaking news, the Stephenville Empire Tribune reports that, Tarleton State's, that Tarleton's police chief, Justin Williams, may be leaving Tarleton. Williams has been offered a position as the chief of the city's department in McCall, Idaho. Williams said that this will be a big decision for him and he has not decided yet if he will leave or not. In campus news, according to the Tarleton State University website, the TSU Environmental Society is having a student cleanup day of the Bosque River this Saturday in celebration of Earth Day. Come pick up trash and recyclables from the Bosque River in Stephenville. The cleanup is starting at 9 o'clock and running until 2 p.m. Bosque River Cleanup is a great way to give back to your community, but also be a part of a school event. Kayaks and waders will be provided. Last semester's cleanup had over 50 volunteers and picked up three truckloads of garbage and recyclables. The TSU Environmental Society is a club on campus that is dedicated to a learning community and doing activities related to the environment. For more information, contact Student Activities at 254-968-9256. In local news, the Stephenville Empire Tribune reports that the effects of, a, of newly feder, federally mandated budget cuts, known to many as the sequester, and their effects on the Meals on Wheels Association of America were released yesterday. The Meals on Wheels Association delivers free meals to hungry and homebound senior citizens all over the United States. The sequester has had little influence on Erath County due to the Board of Directors planning ahead for the budget cuts. Whitney Lee, Executive Director of Erath County Senior Citizens Incorporated, said that this area of Meals on Wheels would just have to wait and see if the cuts would hit them harder. At the moment, she said that they have not had to cut any services, but that they are not sure what the future will hold. A survey of Meals on Wheels programs throughout the country showed that nearly 70% of the programs have had to make cuts the numbers of meals they serve. On average, the programs have cut 364 meals per week due to the budget cuts. National CEO of Meals on Wheels, Ellie Hollander, said that the country should be investing in these programs to ensure that seniors have the nutritious meals they need to remain healthy and independent. And now today's Texas National International Entertainment and Sports News from the Associated Press. In Texas news, Texas A&M Galveston founder and marine researcher Sammy Ray died Monday. Ray led research on Gulf Coast fisheries and oysters, with his work being labeled as vital to the industry. He held a variety of positions at Texas A&M Galveston, including interim president. His sea camp became a successful endeavor in providing marine studies and research opportunities for young students. Ray's cause of death remains under investigation. He died at the age of 94. In national news, the Colorado theater shooter James Holmes went on trial this morning at 10 a.m. Holmes's lawyer will argue that the delay violated his constitutional rights and that anything he said to the officer should be blocked from his trial. Blocking Holmes's statements would have had a limited effect on his trial because his lawyer already acknowledged that he was the shooter. This trial is expected to determine if Holmes is legally insane at the time of the shooting. In international news, an explosion caused by a small homemade time bomb detonated at one of the most prestigious hotels in Myanmar's main city police said Monday night. The blast went off just before midnight at the Traders Hotel in Yangon and three suspects have been detained, tearing apart a guest's room and injuring one 43-year-old American woman. It was one of a series of bombings to strike the country in recent days. Now today's top entertainment stories from the AP Shows, Showbiz Minute. AP Showbiz Minute. Lady Antebellum is postponing the start of its 60-day concert tour. The country music trio will reschedule 17 dates after pushing the start date back from November to January 10th. The group's website says the postponement is partly due to the November release of the deluxe version of their album, Golden. 
George Strait and Alan Jackson will team up to pay tribute to George Jones at next month's Country Music Association Awards. CMA's two most nominated singers will perform together to salute Jones, who died earlier this year, aged 81. Taylor Swift was honoured for a record sixth time as Songwriter Artist of the Year by the Nashville Songwriters Association International. She's also in the running for a third win as Entertainer of the Year at the Country Music Awards on November 6th. Swift, who's now working on her fifth album, says it would mean a lot to her fans for her to take the title again. This is Hilary Fox with AP Showbiz Minute. In sports news, Monday night, the Los Angeles Dodgers beat the St. Louis Cardinals in Game 3 with a win of 3-0, cutting their NLCS deficit 2-1 in the best of seven series. The Dodgers pitcher, Hyunjin Ryu, outpitched his opponent for the Cardinals, and energy coming from the batter's box by Yasiel Puig helped to surge this team to a much-needed victory. Dodgers manager Don Mattingly said that the playoffs are just one-day momentum swings and that he believes the Dodgers have grabbed their momentum. Game 4 will be tonight at Dodger Stadium, and the Cardinals have every intention of coming back strong. Cardinals manager said that they are a better club than their performance last night, and they had a lot of balls hit the ground that normally do not for them. Today's weather forecast from the Weather Channel is a high of 70 and a low of 50 with an 80% chance of rain. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your lo latest local, state, national, and international news, as well as all of your entertainment and sports news. Today's broadcast was produced by Cameron Cook, Yvette Gallegos, and Bethany Kyle. I am Jack Cochran. Have a wonderful day, Tarleton Texans.